Ukraine launches smart and fast offensive against Russia. Ukraine's new attacks are part of a growing asymmetric campaign by Kyiv aimed at crippling the oil industry and depriving Moscow of billions of dollars in revenue. Ukraine intensifies the struggle by striking drones deep into the territory of Russia. Not being able to compare with Putin's military power, Ukraine is engaged in a smart confrontation, attacking the enemy's oil and gas supply lines. This is reported by the British edition of The Guardian. Over the past three weeks, Ukraine has weakened Russia's energy infrastructure. Shortly after the new year, someone attached explosives to train carriages in the Ural city of Nizhny Tagil. The explosion occurred near facilities owned by Gazpromneft, the country's third largest oil producer. Then a kamikaze drone crashed into an oil depot in the Oriol region. On January the 18th, another oil terminal in St. Petersburg, Putin's home city, was attacked. The first time since the invasion in February 2022, unmanned aerial vehicles reached the Leningrad region. Then there was more. A large-scale fire broke out at the oil depot in the city of Klintsi, not far from Belarus and Ukraine. Three days later, drones attacked the Baltic port of Ust-Luga in the Gulf of Finland and the main oil terminal belonging to the Novatec company. After this, a drone hit the Tuapse oil refinery in southern Russia on the Black Sea coast. These attacks are part of Kyiv's growing asymmetric campaign to cripple the industry and deprive Moscow of billions of dollars in global revenues it uses to fund the conflict. Russia finances its military from oil exports. You can't persuade countries like India and China to stop buying it, so you knock out Russian oil refineries, Ukrainian military reporters say.